All right, so I'm going to make this video real quickly to show as sort of the first video for the building a mobile app with just pure WordPress, no, no PHP code as much as possible. There's a little PHP code here and there, but nothing dramatic and kind of show you how I'm trying to build it using stock pieces of uh, WordPress. So let's start with my theme. My theme is a, a Generate Press Child theme. And the first thing I want to show you is uh, how I solve the problem of a menu uh, that is that works that's sticky and works with uh, with mobile so I'm going to call this up real quick. I don't know if it, it won't scroll. Let me fix this so it gets small enough to scroll. So you can see I have a sticky menu. Uh, it's a mobile menu. It changes to a full size menu at a certain point. So you see that it changes to a full size menu. But then, and it's also still sticky. So that's one of the things I wanted. And one of the problems I ran into was how to get my branding in there. And, and the way I solved that problem, in other words, I couldn't, if I put an image inside the Elementor, when I would click this menu, it would expand all of this and drop the image down. So in other words, I put the image in a column. So the way I solved this problem was I made the image, the branding, a background image for this section and then I centered it so that it was here so it, it's still it, it's it's kind of a kludgy hack but but it worked for me so that's how I did that now the next problem I had after that was how do I keep from having to uh, like if I use, I'm using Elementor Canvas for my pages, so there's nothing but blank Elementor space on my pages. But I don't want to have to drop the menu in every time and keep it updated. Now, I, the menu is a global widget. So if I change the menu, the change will be reflected on all the pages. But how do I get the header to be a header across all pages? And it's automatically there every single time. Well, the, the way I solved that was to use something in Generate Press called GP Hooks. So what I did is, I, and I also used a plugin. There's a really nice plugin that's a free plugin called Anywhere Elementor. And I used it. Let me go to the AE templates. And I created an AE template called Master Menu. And let me open it up in Elementor real quick. Now, if you look at it right now, I have two menus, and I think I'm going to go back and try to figure out how to consolidate these. The bottom one doesn't show on desktop. The top one doesn't show on mobile. And that's how I solved I was initially having a problem with the drop-down menu having a gap on this one, but and it needed to be tweaked out. But I think I know now what I did wrong, and I can go back and fix that. But, so in this Anywhere template, these are two global widgets. You go to global widgets, you can see mobile menu version one, page menu version one. Any changes I make to this will be propagated everywhere it appears, but it ends up being the only place that it's used is here. So, and this is set up, I set this up as an uh, Elementor Canvas too, so there's nothing but this showing. So, this is my menu. And then Anywhere Elementor gives you a short code and a PHP code. 
Now just to play it safe, I picked the PHP code so that when I went into my GP hooks, and just before the header, I added the PHP code and I checked the execute PHP box. Now the only other problem that you, it's not really a problem, but the other thing you have to take care of is Generate Press has its own header that it will show, so you have to cut that off. So let's visit the site, and you can see here my this is my menu, uh, and it doesn't have a drop down at this point. But anyway, so to fix that, I went into Customize, and it's really simple. I went down to additional CSS and then right here in site header see I actually had a box shadow at one point that I was using but all I did was I changed the display to none so I basically turned off the generate press site header so that all that shows up is my uh, anywhere Elementor template uh, that's dropped in in the GP hooks. So that's how I created my menu that will automatically be on every page that I create for the rest of the time of my app. I hope that this video was somehow useful to you. Thanks for watching.